I am Abdullah Yitinger, uh, working at Atatürk University as a research assistant from Turkey. And our study is entitled Experiences of the Working Mothers in the Workplace. And in my, pre in my presentation, uh, first I will talk about the aim of the study. And then I will mention methodology and material. And later we will talk about findings. And in the end, uh, I will talk about conclusion and recommendations. <clears throat> the aim of the study is to evaluate experiences of working mothers in the workplace. And in this context, the main research question is, what are the experiences of working mothers in the workplace? Uh, because in Turkey, getting married and becoming a mother can be considered as abstractions for women in business life. And it is known that the women's traditional beliefs, prejudice, barriers, and the cultural structure cause her to give up and leave business life in case of marriage and having children. <clears throat> and here is the, our sub questions is like, what are the experiences of women in the workplace during the pregnancy? And what are the experiences of women in the workplace during the maternity? Here, I want to mention that uh, we mean with maternity is uh, after the pregnancy period and when the baby is born. And in this study, we adopted qualitative research method and we used phenomenological <coughs> design and among purposeful sampling, te sampling techniques, uh, we preferred snowball or chain sampling. And the data was obtained through online and face-to-face -face in-depth interviews. <clears throat> and you, we used semi-structured interview form uh, as the data collection tool. And in the end, uh, we made content analysis. And here is the demographic information of participants and we gave code names to them. Here is the ages and their occupation. I want to mention about that here. Uh, the first participant in here uh, is Beren. His occupation is academician in here, but when she was pregnant, uh, she was teaching in the primary school as a math teacher. So uh, I want to say that because I don't want you to be confused in the findings part. And for example, Deren is also unemployed in here, but she shared uh, her previous experiences with us. And we analyzed the data and constituted two teams as pregnancy, pregnancy process experiences and maternity process experiences. And later we categorized teams as positive and negative experiences. <clears throat> And now I will give some quotations from interviews. Uh, uh, here, the participant, as you can see, had role conflict. And according to her point of view, a woman expect, expecting a baby should continue either her education life or business life. So the participant will either fight or flight during the pregnancy. And and here, the participant determined a pregnancy strategy. Uh, sorry. Here, the participant determined the pregnancy strategy. And however, during the interview, it revealed that her pregnancy strategy did not work. And she tried to escape from the maternal wall with an unethical way uh, because uh, she, hide, she hid her pregnancy from the manager. And uh, in the end, the manager reaction was realized in a way that the participant did not plan. Uh, now we will talk about the second team as a maternal maternity process. Uh, and here the manager tried to keep the participant away from the workplace in terms of disrupt disrupting the maintenance of the work. And uh, here, as soon as Beren became an academician, she hit the maternal wall, uh, not by her manager, but especially by obstacles caused by herself because she wanted to spend time with her child more. Um, and
And in here, uh, Elif claimed that she was forced to work despite of her legal rights. And she stated that violence was normalized because uh, she, she had to, even if she didn't have to guard there, but his, her manager uh, wanted her to guard and she did. And during the interview, uh, I just stated that teaching was suitable for maternity. And according to her, the spare time created by teaching was an important detail for working mothers. And when considered in terms of spending time with the child, uh, the idea arises that mothers need free time. Uh, but however, Eje had cancer treatment uh, while she was working. So maybe this might be a reason that she was supported by the management. And <clears throat> here, uh, Deren felt an obligation to spend time with her child constantly because of her intense motherhood ideology. And this situation separated her from the public sphere and confined her to private sphere. <clears throat> and in here, Esila's manager attached particular importance uh, to the concept of family. Uh, she stated that after giving the birth, she promoted as opposed to the hitting the maternal wall and having a child did not prevent her. According to her, this was not a normal situation and she was lucky. And lastly, uh, here we get faced, faced with the high, high performance uh, expectation and she had family work conflict and could not show the expected performance. Uh, and she resigned from her both jobs. And here we will talk about the conclusion and recommendations. Uh, uh, we can say that for, for the future studies, uh, we can make some suggestions uh, for them and also for practitioners. And research findings show that Maternal wall are experienced in the public and private sector in Turkey. And working mothers might show strategic behaviors in the relationship with their manager to not hit the wall, maternal wall, for instance, hiding uh, their pregnancy. And managers expect high performance from the working mothers. Generally, this, expect this expectation does not change after the birth or during pregnancy. In case of low performance, the manager's attitudes tend to change negatively. And another conclusion is that working mothers who are affected by the ideology of intense motherhood can show responses such as quitting or changing their jobs. And uh, working mothers tend to keep the pay issue prominently in the background. Uh, and lastly, working mothers who does not hit the maternal wall on the other hand, describe themselves as lucky because they were outside the normalized the process of hitting the maternal wall. <clears throat> and our recommendations is like, uh, similar studies can be conducted for different sector or occupation. Experiences of working mothers with a child and two children can be compared with each other. Uh, Application of legal rights about working mothers can be examined and awareness of working mothers about legal rights can be tried to increase. And lastly, companies or institutions can develop strategies to satisfy the needs of working mothers, such as providing kindergarten service, flexible working hours, psychological support, and so on. And my presentation is done. If you have any questions, I would like to answer.